I don't know how big she is. She's gotta, she's gotta be close to five. Gotta be. That's her. Oh, strong fish. Dude, she's so hot. I got my waypoints in, so that's a good thing. Almost lost it there. If you're wondering what it looks like, how much stuff it takes to fish a bass tournament, you're looking at it now. This is about half of it. MLF has, how many league boats do they have here? They've got 24 league boats here. There's 15 of us fishing each day. So everybody is fishing out of a foreign boat. And while these are great boats, I mean, I'm in a Phoenix. It's, it's fairly similar to my home base. Different electronics, different trolling motor, a little bit smaller boat, so less tackle storage. So fishing out of somebody else's boat, it's not something anyone, any of us enjoy, but it's a challenge. And uh, everybody's facing the same set of challenges. We're here, General Tire Heavy Hitters. It's day one. This event is all about big bass. We're on Caney Lake. It's every fish counts today but the biggest bass from the elimination round is worth $25,000. So not only do we need to catch enough to ensure us into that knockout round, but one bite could be worth 25 Ds. Yeah, it's Kevin. Did he tell you you're not part of the community? <laughs> Listen, y'all showed up the first morning, you're part of the community. <laughs> All right, <Awesome>. we're welcome. <laughs> Good, because I'm vote I'm boat 15 on the next day. On the board. Oh. Broke my line. <laughs> Not a bad fish. Two and a half. I gotta rub it in while I can. That's a big one. That's a big one. He's not that big. There I thought it was when I loaded up. It felt big. Two pounds, ten ounces. Two ten. Feels like a big one. I might get you there. Anyway. There we go. It's a little better. That's a little chungus. Four pounds, two ounces. It's only a four two. Not bad. A little drop shot fish. Oh gosh. Pounds, 14 ounces. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Dang, go. Did that fish hit it and swing like darted to me? Don't think that's a two pounder, but there's one on a bed right there. Oh, yeah, it's a three pounder. All right, we're going to sight fish this one here. Oh. In the mouth. That's a lot of work for a two and a half pounder. Two pounds, 12 ounces. Hey, uh, stay there. I'm gonna circle. There's one right on a bed right here. You can probably pull right there if you want. I, I, he looks like just a two pounder though, but he's on a deeper bed, so it's hard to see. <laughs> He'll score though, I think. One pound, 15 ounces. All right, try again. Knocked enough water off of him in the, on the carpet. One pound, 15 ounces. All right, that's all I, get, all I get, right? So you get one more. One more? Come on, buddy. Think heavy. One pound, 15 ounces. That was cool. If he would have come off, hit the gunnel and gone in the water, guaranteed two and a quarter. She'll let me do what she just did right there. I'll catch her. Yeah. 
Come here. Come here. Oh, shoot. She was in the mouth, I swear. She come off in my hand. Six pounds, eight ounces. Six and a half pounder. Not bad. That's no $25,000 bass, but wow. Everybody else is out there fishing brush and I mean, I'm sure there's some guys fishing shallow, but golly. Let's go, baby. Well, that was a fun period. Caught us two fish, which may not sound like a lot, but caught them both in this pocket, sight fishing. What I love to do, we caught three fish actually. One was non-scorable. Bellow shad, baby. Just caught a six and a half pounder. I got two more right here that are definitely scorable sitting on a bed. We're about to bust them. I'm in I'm in my happy place. Throwing a bellow shad, bellows gill. Does it get any better? No. It doesn't. It doesn't. I don't even have well, I could have a pub sub. I had the mail there. I don't think she's catchable. There's him. Gosh dang it. She's pretty big. If he's that, I mean, I told you he was fat. Look at that. Three pounds, 14 ounces. Female's bigger. I don't know how much bigger, but bigger. Well, we're a fish landing fool today. Fish landing violation fool. I don't know how big she is. She's got to. She's got to be close to five. Got to be. I just kind of told myself, hey, if you get the right conditions, go look. And we've gotten that today, and so far we've capitalized on it. That's her. That's her. Coming right to you. Oh, strong fish. Come here, come here. Dude, she's so hot. Come on. In the mouth. Chungus, baby. On the bellow shad. That's a five pounder. Six pounds, seven ounces. How about a six, seven? We got a six, eight and a six, seven off the bed today. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Let's go find another. Hey buddy. Hey up, buddy. Dude? You scared? Great day, man. Thank you. I'm doing a, a short video for my 12 year old niece. All right. How, how was it today and what have you got to tell me? Uh, it was a good day. Uh, sitting in first place and I want to wish Macy a very happy birthday. You want me to sign them all? Yeah, please. Yeah, no, but I, I mean, I couldn't decide where I wanted to start, but I, was, I started on the one I did because it's a very specific. Yeah, you can still go to the other one. And I could still get, yeah. What do we do today? We caught us some bass. Um, a lot of different ways. Started out deep, community hole school, 20 foot of water. Caught us some on some sneaky Japanese techniques. Then we went shallow. I wasn't banking on the fish being on beds, but I had a hunch, you know, rolled into a couple pockets and it was, it was happening. The, there were some females up. Almost every good one I saw on a bed was catchable acting right you know that doesn't happen all the time but it happened today sitting in first place at 30 33 34 14 i don't know something like that i hope we get some more sunshine i don't think we're going to dad what do you have today you you got you're in the cut with seven pounds seven twelve yeah seven pounds 12 ounces is in the cut so the good thing is we've already got the next round made if i can win the elimination round we go straight to bussy break which is just going to be it's going to be like Christmas. Thank you guys for watching. If y'all are looking for the practice video from this event to see how it all went down, you get to see me flip some big ones up at Bussy Break and do some finesse tactics out here on Caney. Click up in this corner and uh, let's go win the round.